Alright, so we finally arrived. Here is the view from our room, pretty nice. We're just waking up. Breakfast was good here at the Occidental Caribe. Um, it was funny when we arrived, the room seemed a little run, run down. We thought the place was crappy, but then when the sun came up, uh, everything looked way better. Uh, it's rock climbing, a cool children's pool as well. Yep, they even have trapeze classes, if you can kind of see that. So here I am, you can see me through the darkness. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go out to the beach and uh, see what's up. All right, so here's our room. As you can see, uh, here's the bathroom. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I probably should have done this video before we destroyed this place. But uh, anyways, bathrooms are spacious. They give you a good uh, accoutrement of toiletries, shaver, comb, whatever. Uh, we did the superior room with ocean view. I think they charge like 20 extra dollars a night. Uh, I'm big on views. I always feel like it makes the vacation even better. So I always pop a little bit more for the video uh, for the uh, ocean view. So room's pretty spacious. Uh, I don't know how many square feet it is. They have a flat screen TV, which I don't see how any hotel can have them by now. And actually, they had almost a hundred channels. Uh, so we got to watch all the sports games, that's playoffs, um, they even lent us a crib, fantastic. Yes, there's a safe in case you're wondering, plenty of drawer space, there is room service, um, however you have to pay for that, I know some hotels give it to you for free when you have all-inclusive, in all uh, they don't here, but that's no big deal. We have a nice ba balcony, give me a second with a door that never really worked properly, but anyways, let me open it from the other side because the door is broken. Um, something we'll have to fix in the future. So really nice view. They put us right at the tip of the, uh, above the lobby, which is perfect. So this is the children's pool. And then there's a secondary pool, and then that's the Mexican restaurant. There's trapeze class, and there's also a climbing wall. They have lessons daily. Beautiful beach. A little overcast today, so the water's not as blue. Fortunately, the resort isn't too packed. Uh, in fact, quite the opposite. It's quite quiet, a little bit off off season. I'm not sure if Zika had anything to do with that. And then over to the right, this is where there's another restaurant, snack bar, and then there's a pool. So let's go take a look at the rest. So here's the walk from our room. Nice windows everywhere so you can kind of get a view. So this is another view. This is another part of the beach. This is where the Seafood restaurant is that turns into a snack bar in the evening uh, and day. Here's the big pool, like the adults pool, there's a swim up bar. Right here they do all the shows and the twerking competitions. They had a foam party earlier. As you can see it's a pretty big hotel. I think they have over 700 rooms. So let's work our way down to the elevator. There are two, two sets of elevators, there are two elevators on each side of the room, or the resort rather. So easy access for everybody, no matter where you're staying. Here we are outside the elevator. So this is one of the big bars. It gets pretty lively in the night. They have live music as well. This is where we usually hang out and watch the sports games. And then this way is the walk to the um, lobby, which you'll see in a minute. And this part is the main restaurant which looks like it's not open yet. But this is the restaurant that you don't need reservations for. Um, basically you do breakfast, lunch, and supper here. And uh, the other restaurants though, you have to book separately. So when they open, which they're not open yet, I'll show you some of that. Nice view while we eat every day. Yeah, 
We have an a la carte dinner tonight at the Italian restaurant. By the way, the best restaurants to eat at are the French restaurant, the Italian restaurant, and the uh, Dominican restaurant. Actually, you may when you get here, you may think, okay, let me not waste my time with the Dominican one because you've never heard of Dominican food. Well, surprise, surprise, the Dominican one was probably my favorite one of all of them. Uh, they have some really good options there that you've probably never heard before. So give it a try. Um, you'll probably really like it. Here are the cooking stations. They usually have a big lineup in the morning for the omelets. So that's that. So here they have the event board. Kind of says what they're doing all day. There's a couple of shows tonight. This is the walkout. Nice ocean view. This is the restaurant, so it's kind of indoor, outdoor. The pool. Down here they have some souvenir joints and the tour company representatives who look like they have gone for the day. So the sun's setting a little bit, it's not as bright, but uh, it's probably better to film this in. Again, that's the big pool. We're heading down to the beach right now. Had a good stay. Um, for some re weird reason, you can pretty much wear whatever you feel like, including your bikini for breakfast and uh, lunch, but then when it comes to supper in the same buffet, you can't wear sleeveless stuff or bathing suits. Sharpies again. This is one half of the resort. It's like two wings. Our room is just around here. And then you'll see in a minute that this hotel has the same side on the other side. So it's pretty huge. Volleyball. Nice Caribbean ocean. Not as spectacularly blue because the sun has gone down but it is that nice tur turquoise water. You can pay extra and have a lobster dinner. As you can see, I don't know if many people do it. I think it's like You'll see there's a bar here, outdoor bar. It gets a little busy in the night since there's not much else to do in the area. And then here on this part of the beach, they often have like a beach party. And then off in the distance, beyond that hut, there are non-motorized water sports which come included in the hotel, including like kayaking, snorkeling. They even give you a catamaran if you want. Um, you just gotta book it a day in advance, but it's pretty good that way. You don't have to pay for any of those things in addition. I have a giant chess board here. All of the pieces are taken away. And so, here on the second level, there's a, a pizza joint not many people know about. You can order a small pizza. So here's the bigger pool. They have another pool on the other side, mostly for like the family side of things. Um, a word about the food here, people always wonder about the food. I think the food is pretty average here, except for a couple of the a la carte restaurants. Actually, I would even say the food's kind of below average. Um, I thought it could have been a lot tastier. My only crit, crit, probably my only critique or criticism of the hotel. They have a snack bar here, which has uh, hot dogs and hamburgers. And then inside this area, in the nighttime, past uh, 10 o'clock since everything else is closed, you can uh, have like, other snacks, which again are hot dogs and nachos and stuff like that. Um, right now in the evening, it sets up as another a la carte restaurant where they serve seafood. Um, when we first got here, since everything was closed, we had to come here for our late night dinner and uh, I pray to God that the food got better because it, it was really crappy what they put in the 
that buffet there in the late night, it's really bad. I don't know. They shouldn't even serve anything if they're going to put food like that out. But anyways, the rest of the places, the rest of the restaurants were quite good. So that's that restaurant. So here's a better view of the trapeze. Um, of course, they have an instructor there. I think they do it once or twice a day. Now this side of the hotel, this next wing is mostly for the family, kids side. So you can see they have a really cool um, pool with a whole bunch of slides. I went down one of the slides and they came running out at me saying it's for kids only. Um, so that was that. So it's really nice in the day. There's that rock climbing wall I mentioned. And then this is like the, uh, I guess the family pool. Also really nice, a lot quieter than the other one, which by the way, I didn't show it to you, but the other one has a swim up bar. So nice, they got like these built-in chairs into the pool. Over here to my left, you, it's closed now, but this is where the French restaurant is. And then there's another bar over here. So there's a bar on each side of the hotel and then another bar outside near the beach, which I showed you. And then here are all the like little stores. There's a massage joint right here. Never did one, that's not included by the way. There's a 24 hour clinic, which I think is really important to have. Um, they're always advertising casino stuff. Here's a gym, which by the way, the gym is actually surprisingly good. I'll show it to you. Had a lot of free weights and uh, it was clean and it had good equipment, <clears throat> good machines. So you can kind of see everybody working out. Up here is the best part of the bar is the second level. They have a sax player in the night and I think there's a piano up here too. So they have some good music and it's pretty social. You can see the cabanas. There's a children's area here with like video games and play things. And then, although I thought I would never go to it, um, there's a sports bar with a whole bunch of, you know, games to play, like pool and ping pong, and then like a bunch of TVs. Um, it looked kind of crappy at first. And then me and my friends went there and uh, we met a few really cool people from uh, other states like uh, Maine actually, and they, were, they ended up being really good friends of us, ours during the trip, so let's take a look inside really quick. after eating too much stuff. This is the sports bar. Pretty good. Hola. And then that's kind of it. I mean, the, there's this part over here has the Mexican restaurant. The food there is decent. It's open for lunch. Um, if you don't want to do the buffet, that's the one place that's decent to go to for lunch as well. So here we are walking to the other side of the bar or hotel. This is the other bar. You can kind of see they mirror each other. Guest services, which comes in handy. I'll explain why in a minute. Um, you can see it's the evening, so the live music is starting to get broken out. Sax guy, actually pretty good music. It's not just some old school jazz or anything like that. And this is the view from the other side of the lobby. Final countdown. Here's the lobby I didn't get to show you guys earlier. The hotel. Checkout, we just checked out. Uh, pretty easy, just gave them their keys. They gave us a piece of paper. 
and that was the end of it. Now we're just gonna go to my friend's room to pick up our suitcases. Um, one quick note. Um, we are getting a shuttle that's called Coming 2, C-O-M-I-N-G, and the number two. Um, that's gonna get us, all three of us, well, two of us are getting a shuttle to the airport for um, $18, which is the cheapest I've seen. The cheapest I saw before that was $11 per person with blue TPS from Expedia. Um, and they were good, they picked us up at the airport right on time and drove us here, but now we got an even cheaper one from a, it looks like a legitimate company because I actually have a representative at the hotel, but I did it through Expedia. I think it's always cheaper through Expedia for some reason. And they're gonna come to pick us up in about 20 minutes. And that's it, that's gonna conclude our hotel stay and then we're gonna hit the airport. So those are the blue TPS is what I recommend and coming to uh, for your airport transfer. But again, do it on the uh, Expedia website. One other thing too I wanna to mention before it eludes me, there is a casino on the grounds. It's called Sky Casino, you can see it there. Don't go there. I mean, you can go there to watch a sports game. They have a big, a big projection projector. The problem with that place is uh, one of my friends went there and they, they run a scam of a game and it has nothing to do with luck. They hide numbers from you and then they make it seem like the game's easy so you rack up a bill with them. And my friend ended up you know, owing them $12,000 on, on the prospect that he would get like a $400,000 payday or something like that. Don't do that game. That's a, it's a scam that if you research it has been being done in Dominican for years and it just kind of suckers unwitting uh, you know, tourists to play a game that they will never win because they don't actually show you the numbers and they don't play fair. Um, and then they scare you into trying to pay them. They wanted to drive my friend around the city to pick up money from different bank account, uh, bank machines. Um, but when we called them out, called their bluff, when we called their bluff on the game being a scam, um, there's nothing, they didn't do anything to him because he didn't actually pay all the money, they did it to him on credit. So he didn't pay all that 12,000 yeah, when we told him what a scam it was and whatever else. So just, you know, if you go to the casino, and by the way, don't expect the hotel to help you if this casino screws you over. Um, the hotel is just gonna say, they have nothing to do with the hotel, it's a separate business, even though they advertise it everywhere and even though it's literally right here at the side of the casino as part of the building. So I'm not sure how much the, this hotel is involved with it, but if they want to have a good reputation here, I'd suggest Occidental get rid of that uh, casino because it's damaging your reputation. All right, that's it for now. Kind of it for now. Might as well, you guys might as well see my beautiful mug before we leave. Um, I'm just gonna get my suitcases and we'll go from there. Hi everybody, just want to uh, do a little follow up to the uh, review for the Occidental Caribe and my time in Punta Cana. Um, I did a little finish up yesterday at the hotel lobby. Um, now that I'm back home here in Los Angeles, I thought, uh, let me just kind of recap the vacation. So this was my first time in Dominican Republic. I had heard a lot about it. You know, growing up in Canada, it seems like that was the go-to place to go, especially for people in high school. We always, in Canada, we always go to either Cuba, uh, Dominican Republic, and obviously Cancun in specific in Mexico. Um, so I finally went, uh, met my friend there for his birthday. My birthday's coming up too. And we had a good time. Uh, we had, you know, the, the resorts there, contrary to some of the other places I've been, they're gigantic. So. All you see are these big walls uh, as you drive by and these once you pass the walls inside are these elaborate compounds with these massive, massive uh, um, resorts, especially the Bahia ones. Uh, went, on the way back to the airport yesterday, our shuttle passed by the Bahia to pick other people up and uh, this place was crazy. I mean, they had, they, they had trolleys just to pick up people and scoot them around other parts of the resort because the place was so gigantic. Um, lots of good energy, but I, I like Dominican Republic. Uh, uh, it was nice. The weather was fantastic. It was supposed to rain every day, but it didn't. Uh, I think it rained one time at like two in the morning, so that didn't affect us at all. Uh, the food was a little bit different. Uh, I think the food is better in Cancun, uh, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's resort specific or uh, Dominican specific, because I remember when I went to Cuba, the food wasn't great either. And again, I'm speaking from the uh, standpoint of the American palate, my American or Canadian palate, where, you know, we like, we like, 
you know, a bit more salt. We like really tasty and, you know, things with a lot of sauce. Um, I found the food was a little, a little bit more bland for me, um, or at least at Occidental it was. And again, perhaps that's a, that's a Dominican thing, I'm not sure. But uh, all in all, the beach was very nice. Uh, it's your beautiful Caribbean white sand, turquoise water. Um, people are in a good mood. The drinks are good. Uh, at the Occidental, one thing I would say, I, I think the alcohol could have been better, frankly. They, don't, they used uh, alcohol I had never heard of. It was probably local stuff, um, the rums and the vodkas and stuff. They did. I did see bottles of J&B and um, Canadian Club and Absolute and what have you, but I think those were there more for show and tell, although I could be wrong because I didn't really see them ever using it or using those brands. So the alcohol isn't the greatest. Um, I thought it could be better quality. They could be using better stuff, and I thought the food could be a little bit more uh, lively. Although, having said that, when I say the food is bland, let me go back a little bit. I'm referring mostly to the big uh, Alcazar. Alcazar is the name of the restaurant, the buffet that everybody eats at. The a la carte restaurants, though, were excellent. Uh, they had a Dominican a la carte restaurant. They had an Italian, Japanese. Um, they had a Mexican one, which you can also use uh, eat lunch at, by the way. And I believe there's one more. Oh, and French. Um, Surprisingly, we kept avoiding the Dominican one because we thought, okay, well, we don't know anything about Dominican food. It's probably not that great. And it was easily my favorite food um, of the trip. We had a, I, I personally ordered a plantain that had like a beef uh, inside of it. It's called mofongo. Um, so it's like mashed plantain. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a ripe, it's like, 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 like a big banana. Um, it's mashed and they put meat in it and it's, it's excellent. So the staff was friendly, checkout was really easily, easy. I just handed my keys back, they gave me a piece of paper and that was the end of it. So uh, as far as the layout, one thing I do when I'm looking at hotels is I actually look at the layout of the hotel before I book a hotel. Um, I'm very, maybe over analytical, uh, but I look for a hotel that has a certain layout that I think would be more conducive to meeting people. So one thing that attracted me to the Occidental was, you know, the hotel wrapped around a couple of pools. I feel like that helps uh, build a bit of a social atmosphere and also the layout of the bars, um, which it totally did. We got to meet some really cool people, like I had mentioned, and I'll probably stay in touch with them. So all in all, uh, I had a good trip in Dominican and Occidental was very good, very hospitable. A uh, couple cons, I will say, and then I'll get to the pros because I like to leave things on a good note. Uh, cons are they got to get fix something with their towel service. I mean, sometimes the maid would leave and there would be no towels in the room, and I don't know why. And then other times we'd have six towels, just but just the big ones and no washcloths or face towels. Um, it was it was hit or miss. I must have called called room service maybe eight to ten times asking for washcloths, and uh, over the course of four days of me calling them, I never got one. <laughs> I just I don't know what happened. And the resort wasn't that busy, uh, so I'm not sure what what's up with that. Um, other cons, like I mentioned, I think they could use way better alcohol uh, in the drinks, um, for sure. And uh, that's kind of it, I would say. I mean, I know a lot of these hotels are hurting a little bit because of this whole Zika thing probably took a dent out of tourism. So they're probably trying to juggle economizing with trying to cover overhead on a, on a massive resort when there are, you know, a ton of people staying there. But overall, it was quite good. Um, I think... Uh, I don't think I'd stay here again, not from a bad perspective, just because I generally I generally don't stay at the same hotel more than once anyway, especially resorts, because I like to try new things. Uh, so those are probably the only cons. Uh, pros, beautiful layout. There's something for everybody if you're you know, a little baby to an adult. Um, there's something to do. They have a little water park for the kids. They have a lot of activities. They have a night show with a gigantic amphitheater um, with a bar at it. Um, a lot of good people there from all around the world. Not as many as Americans. Not as many Americans as uh, I'm used to seeing. It was mostly Ru a lot of Russians, Canadians, and uh, actually a lot of Dominican. A lot of Dominicans. I guess they just came here for a vacation. Uh, another pro I uh, should mention too is they actually have a little library and internet cafe there. Uh, unfortunately, I have to pay for the internet which I guess is a con because, you know, it's 2017, especially at these resorts where, you know, they're charging you 250, 300 bucks a night. Nobody should be paying for internet. I mean, let's get real here, but they do, but that's fine. I know most hotels do, so I'm not gonna hold it specifically against Occidental or Barcelo, uh, but they do have a little library. So if you're thinking, 
oh, let me pack all these heavy books in my suitcase uh, in case I just want to read something, you're A-OK, -okay, because guess what? They have a, a nice little library composed of old books that other travelers probably didn't need anymore. I borrowed a book, um, The Escape by David Baldacci. Looked pretty good. I, I got to the first page, which is really um, a feat for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I plan to read it at some point. And uh, you may be wondering why I still have the book with me. Um, I guess you could say I per permanently borrowed it, but I didn't. I, I think it's fair because I actually left a book in return for the hotel. So what else? Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention with the pros is it is playoffs time for the NBA and the NHL, and they literally had like 95 or almost 100 cha TV channels. I mean, most of them were in Spanish, but at the same time, most of them were also American channels. They were just dubbed. But all the sports channels and also CNN, all in English. So they had a cool sports bar, which looked kind of dumpy, but actually in the night it gets pretty lively. So we were, me and my friends used to gather around there and watch the NBA playoffs. And uh, also the bars were playing all the playoff games too. So it's a pretty social lively atmosphere like that. So those are two of the other uh, pros I wanted to add to my uh, review here. Uh, on the and one one that's on the pro side. So I had a good time with that uh, One con I forgot to mention which I already mentioned is stay away from the casino. Uh, I don't appreciate casinos that try to rip people off and then uh, Do this nefarious stuff of wanting to drive the the sucker tourist around town trying to milk their bank card um, Doing all this funny business. Uh, I, I don't know what the hotel is thinking associating with a, a scam organization like that I'm sure they have slot machines and poker and maybe it's legit, maybe it isn't, but this one game they have set up there which, you know, is designed to rip people off to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars is totally unacceptable. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I, I don't appreciate that the hotel says they have nothing to do with the casino, but yet they allow the girl to sit on the casino, pardon me, on the hotel floor promoting the activity every day to go to the casino. And they pretty much integrate everything about the casino into the hotel, but then when the casino screws something up and does something illegal like this, the hotel just, oh, we don't have anything, we don't have anything to do with them. I mean, come on. So I, if I were Occidental, I would disassociate themselves or I would literally get a new casino owner or get that place out of there because uh, you're going to lose business and somebody sometimes going to sue you. I just mark my words on that. Um, fortunately, my friend was okay at the end of this ordeal. Um, but those are the cons and the pros, as I already mentioned, are good. The, the a la carte's are great. And by the way, book the a la carte as soon as you get there. You're allowed to book three consecutive a la carte's as soon as you get there and thereafter you have to book day by day. And one other little thing, there is a pizza restaurant um, on the beach just above the, the snack bar. A lot of people don't know it's there. It's not properly advertised, um, but it's an awesome place to go because you're actually perched up high overlooking the, the ocean and it's shaded. So it's a cool place just to relax and have some drinks and chat and eat a little personal pizza if you want. Oh, and the other big con I liked is they had, re they had a really good selection of non-motorized water sports, which are included. Um, I know a lot of hotels have that, but I thought they had a, a, bit, a bit of a better selection and it wasn't always, ta you know, everything wasn't always taken up like a catamaran. You could do a catamaran for uh, about half an hour and they'll, they'll actually drive it for you. Uh, they have windsurfing, that's for you to do for free. Obviously snorkeling and uh, boogie boarding. So uh, quite good, I enjoyed it. There are a bunch of tour operators too that are local, that are actually, they have offices in the resort, so you don't have to go, go shop around too much. Uh, most people think if you, if you organize your tour from the hotel, it's gonna be a big ripoff uh, versus doing it online. Shockingly, I found the opposite to be true. Um, when I was looking at Expedia and TripAdvisor for certain activities, those activities, the big ones in Dominican are doing the little buggies over the, you know, through a trail somewhere, um, dune buggies I'm referring to, zip lining, um, there's a booze cruise where you go to this uh, island called Sauna Island, where it's just, you know, turquoise water for thousands of feet. Those actually were much cheaper just going to the local uh, tour guides or tour operators that are located next to the, next to the pool. Um, they can give you a much better rate. I think I got, we paid half of what I, we would have paid had we booked online. Um, Cause they'll negotiate with you. Actually, even just the starting price was quite good. And I think it's because tourism's a bit down. So their prices are a lot more, more flexible. So that's all I want to say about the Occidental Caribe and Punta Cana. Um, if you're thinking of going, probably worth a visit. It seems a bit more like a couple's trip, frankly. Um, unlike Cancun or whatever, where you can jump on the bus and there's a ton of clubs to, to get to very uh, readily. 
you can't really do that as much in at least in Punta Cana. They do have Coco Bongo and those giant nightclubs, but they're difficult to get to. They charge, you know, from what I was seeing, uh, an all-inclusive night at Coco Bongo was pushing $120 US for a club, which I thought was, you know, crazy. So I don't know if I recommend that, but um, it's good for couples and it's good. It's a great place just to sit back and relax and not leave the resort for a week, which is almost pretty much what we did. So that's my review. Hope you guys uh, enjoy it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you guys later.